Hi there, this is Aretha. I uh, just wanted to share with you a uh, gift that I made for my friend Ginger for her birthday. Um, this is uh, using the Tim Holtz uh, configurations box. I believe the size that I started with was the, uh, I think it's six and seven quarters by a uh, 6.75 inches by 8.75 inches. And um, the boxes on the inside are removable and you can decorate them and uh, rearrange them inside the main frame to uh, suit your needs. So this is what it started off looking like and uh, here's my take on it for Ginger's birthday. So um, as you can see, the I'll put it next to the, the um, un unaltered one so that you can kind of see how I moved I moved the boxes around to make a shape that I thought suited me best. So I put the largest box where it started here in the top left corner, mine ended up here in the middle, and then I just kind of arranged them uh, around in what I thought was a pattern pleasing to the eye. Um, I used Tim Holtz pattern paper on the backs of the boxes and uh, Tim Holtz tissue tape to go ahead and connect each of the boxes to each other. And then if you look here on the top, sorry for the shaky camera work, I only have my cell phone here, but the tissue tape comes around to the top and then I decoupaged um, pattern paper around on the side of the box. and. Um, I'll just go kind of slowly in each little cubby so that you can see what's in there. So I've got uh, three little apothecary bottles that I filled with glass beads in this box. And uh, the reason it says 921 is because Ginger's birthday is September 21st. Um, actually, I'm going to jump down to the main box. I don't know if you can see there, but there is a calendar there that says September. And then I used a little uh, accent charm, uh, an arrow pointing to uh, 21 there. Uh, sorry for the camera work again. I don't know why it's out of focus. Let's see if we can get it back in focus. Alrighty, uh, there we go. So it says the 21st there for her birthday pointing. And uh, let's see, we've got some paper roses in there and a little spool that I put some lace on. And then if you notice the little lantern is lit right now, it's not very attractive on the back of the box. I'll come out and kind of show you. Um, that's the battery pack on the back of the box, but I figure it will mostly be facing this way so no one will see it and then she can change the batteries if she wants to keep the little lantern going. Um, I did use some little uh, corner accents here on the top of the box once I had it all put together and there's a little drawer pull on the side and then these are the feet. These are not uh, by Tim Holtz. I don't remember where I ordered the feet from the box but that's uh, just kind of how it's standing up. I'll show you there on the side. And then let's see, we've got uh, wishes, a little jar of wishes, and I put a little uh, bling diamond on the top of the cork jar there. And over here we just have a little hanging heart with a rose on it and some roses in the background there. And then down here on the bottom, I'll tilt it back so you can see better, there is the Tim Holtz bird cage, which I opened and filled with a few more flowers. And then I put uh, 21 on it, again, uh, because Ginger's birthday is on the 21st. She wishes she was turning 21, but <laughs> I'm just kidding. Love you, girl. Uh, in the middle here, we have just some little charms with, uh, what are those, scissors and a thimble and a little teacup and some little flat back pearls in the back. And then finally, what I did over here on the bottom box is I had some uh, wood veneer fencing and I cut it down and I inked it up a little bit. And then I went ahead and put the uh, dragonfly on the fence and in the back there is just a little Tim Holtz clock um, and a little bit of uh, diamond bling strip in the very back there. So that's it. Uh, Ginger, I really hope you enjoy it. I had a, a really fun time making it. It was a bit of a challenge. Took me a little out of my comfort zone, but I definitely uh, will be doing another one. I really, really like the way this came out. Oh, and I forgot to show you, it says capture life's moments. That is also a little Tim Holtz uh, accent piece there. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.